So there seems to be a little bit of a misunderstanding that if you have multiple outlets or multiple lights wired up in a row, that it's actually wired in series, the circuit's actually wired in series, and that's not true. In your house, all of your circuits are wired in parallel, and you don't really want to think about series and parallel circuits as one device after another device after another device, but you want to think about it as far as the current flowing through the circuit. How does the current flow through the circuit? So if we look at a series circuit, what you have is a power source, and you have a device, a device, maybe these are lights or something else, and your circuit returns to the power source. So right now there is only one path for the electrons or the electricity to flow. So if any of these devices go bad, it breaks the circuit. And so you probably remember the old Christmas lights or somebody talking about the old Christmas lights to where you'd plug in a string of lights and it would just be one light and the next light and the next light and the next light and so on. And remember they would say, oh, if one bulb goes out, they all go out. That's because there's a filament in each one of these bulbs and that filament is actually creating a jump from one wire to the other. And so if any of these filaments burn out, like let's say we lose power in this one bulb, now you've broken your circuit. So that would be the same thing as you cutting a circuit here. Like let's say this circuit up here got cut, it's going to break this circuit and it's not going to work anymore. There's no path for the electrons to flow or the electricity to flow around the circuit and it'll stop working. In a parallel circuit, you still have your power source, but it's different than a series circuit as you have multiple paths for the electrons or the electricity to flow around the circuit. So your devices are wired in such that power goes up to the device, whether it's an outlet or a light, and then the power returns back to the power source. So in an AC circuit, this would be our panel box in our house. And so if you want to think about these, let's say these are lights in a room. You've seen how one light bulb can burn out and all the other lights in the room are still on. And the reason that works, let's say that th these are lights, this light bulb burns out. In a parallel circuit, you have multiple paths for the electrons to flow. So you just broke the circuit here. And so no electricity is flowing through that bulb anymore because that filament burned out. But you still have electricity flowing through the other bulbs lighting them. And remember in your Romex wire, you have two conductors. There's three wires. The bare ground wire is just a ground. It's not a current carrying wire. But you have your black hot wire and you have your white neutral wire. So let's put it in terms of Romex wire. Essentially what you have is this would be your black wire providing the power up to the device. And then this would be your white neutral taking the power from or your current from your device back to your panel box. So let's see if I can draw essentially the same circuit with these two outlets as I did in the previous example. So here's our panel box. We have our bus bars on the side and we have our breakers in the middle. So there's our power source. We're going to hook our black wire up to one of the breakers and we're going to take our hot Romex wire and we're going to attach it to the first outlet. Or I guess what I should say is we're going to run the wire up to the box and we're going to wire nut the wire so that there's a pigtail that comes off and joins the wire that goes on to the next outlet. Now let's do the same thing with our neutral wire. So we have our pigtail that comes up, gets wire nutted up, and then the wire continues on to the next outlet. And I also forgot, I need to hook the neutral wire up to the bus bar in the panel box. So let's follow the path of current. We have the breaker in the panel box providing the power. The power is coming down, 
going to the first outlet and it's also going to the second outlet. If we plug something into these outlets, it completes the circuit and the power runs back through the neutral wire back to the bus bars, completing the circuit. And you can also tell there's two paths for the electricity to travel. And so there's one circuit here essentially, one path here, and there's another path here. But let's say this outlet goes dead. So now this outlet no longer completes this circuit even if it has something plugged into it. You still have a path of electricity through the other outlet. Now this does look a little bit different here because I've split the wires apart, but essentially all you have is, is Romex that comes up to the first box, Romex that comes up to the second box. And all I've done, like I said, is just split these apart when really all it is is one wire that comes up to the box, you hook up your hot, you hook up your neutral, and then that's what completes your circuit. So here's a little example I wired up. And this is essentially what you'd have in your house. You would have your current coming from your black wire and going up to each light, and then you would have your neutral wire completing the circuit back to the panel box. So in a light bulb, you have your hot side, which is the middle portion here, and then you have your neutral, which is the outside portion. And in the inside, you'll see that this hot part will touch the tab down here in the middle, and the neutral tab will touch this outside, completing the circuit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my demonstration and then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting in lights. So in your house this is essentially what's going on. Go ahead and replace this portion here with a light switch and then your neutral running back to your panel box and you essentially have this in your house. And that's why if a bulb burns out, you still keep the other lights in the house. I hope this video helps you understand a little bit more about series and parallel circuits and how they're different. And also, as far as your homes are wired, um, they should, they're basically always wired in parallel. And if you didn't quite understand some of the diagrams that I was drawing or how these circuits actually work, you can go to my Electrical Basics video and some of my other videos where I actually draw these circuits out and it should help you out. We have them all on our Electrical Playlist. If you have any electrical questions, put them down in the comments and we'll try to make a video on them or I'll respond to you and try to get you the answer. We're so grateful for everyone to support our channel. Thanks for watching.